Well, I'm getting there, but I do want to keep these rather stronger tiles in that area. So I'm going to take the first three off of this plinth in front of the shed and feed those in. See where we go from there. It is difficult getting it flat at that edge, but I think I'm as flat as I'm going to be. Right, one more, and we'll get those over and feed them in. I'm quite pleased with that, really. See how the bank slopes up, gets higher, and kept it nice and even along there. Now these pavers, they will settle over the winter months they will definitely shift and dip and the way forward for a level platform is some sand but now that I've got everything level and got the membrane on where I've got any shift and movement after those winter months I'll just feed a bit of sand under them get them nice and level and that'll keep it a nice firm surface so yeah pretty pleased with that and of course, all the edging that I took out has given me quite a mound of soil here, which is useful because it means I have to shift less. So now the game is to try and get that to be a reasonably level gradient into this grass area and a reasonably level gradient into the path that I want to run along the side. That's not going to be easy. I'm going to have to pull this membrane up and feed it back and then just gradually get it to fall away in as even way as I can. So I'm going to have a go at that, spread it around, see what it looks like. Well, I'm grateful for that load of soil from that side because well, doing this just eats up the spare material. So I've got a reasonably sort of consistent level coming across the top, but you can see there's an enormous dip here, which I need to fill just to stop all that just shifting. And I reckon to get the gradient right, I'm gonna to have to come down probably another four to six feet so that it's gradual enough not to make the stones look like that. So there we go. I think it's time to shift a bit more material, move these things out of the way, probably the bench as well, so that I can stand back and just see how things are shaping out. Right, let's move some things. Well, the rain has decided to set in. So I think that's gonna be me done for today. See you tomorrow. I nearly got myself in trouble then. Shot off without bringing in the crops that I promised Mrs. K. So, first sprouts. We've decided we can't eat all of these at Christmas. So, we're gonna take some in now. I'll just give these a bit of a trim. Oh gosh, these stems are hard. Thanks for all the tips on what to do about getting these stems decomposed in the compost bin. Right, I'll pull these off and just show you what we've got. I'll keep the top on because the top is very often very tasty indeed on sprouts. And I don't think these are gonna be any exception. Bit of string there, get that off. It's tougher than I thought. There we go. Right, that's all the yellow. Let's take a few of these rather eaten ones. All this can go in the compost bin in a minute. Ah, there we are. My first and most successful stem of sprouts. Good times. Also on the order, some potatoes. Can't call these new potatoes anymore. More like fresh potatoes, I think. 
Right, let's get going in here, see what we got. Plenty, I think. I think where I left off, I said, see you tomorrow. Well, life got in the way, you know how it is. Things started to happen and well, I couldn't get back quite as quick as I had planned. But today, oh, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Fantastic sun, but just look on the ground. Yep, it was the coldest night since the spring, they said on the forecast this morning. Plenty of white spots all over the allotment. Look at that. Oh, cockerel's crowing. One or two of you observed that there's a cockerel pretty close now. And yeah, cockerels do come with their challenges. Hopefully neighbors won't be concerned. But hey, the hens are not mine now, so that's for somebody else to keep an eye on. Right, well, I left off having started this path along the side. I'm really keen to get all the heavy work done. Thanks to everybody who's concerned about my neck. It's in good order at the moment. And whilst it is, I'm gonna try and get this pretty much finished off. But at the moment, it's all about leveling this ground and getting a decent gradient down to the bottom. So I think what we'll do is see whether the soil is hard behind the shed and whether or not I can continue to add to that area. No, it looks okay. It's in the shadow of the shed. So I should be able to continue to ferry some of that round and make good use of it for leveling this area out. Right, let's get some gloves on. It's cold on the hands this morning. I'm not cold now, I've warmed up. Right, you sort of got to do two jobs at once here because I want to bury this membrane that's going to be under this path right down into the edge if I can. And the reason is the ingrowing grass. You see these runners, they've all come from the grass. So I want to produce a real barrier down there and then I can hook those up in due course. So as I'm coming down here and building this gradient, I'm taking the edge of the grass out and going down reasonably deep. I'll probably go down even a bit deeper when I come to finalize that. But as is the case with all gradients, you think they're gonna sort of slope within a reasonable distance, but they take a long time to play out. So I'm nearly there. A little bit more to do. I'm a bit proud up in the corner and need a bit more in the middle. And then I shall work my way probably down to here where this piece of wood ends. Take that edge out and then use this line as my marker. And I've got this trusty bamboo pole which came out of my loft some time ago and it works perfectly for getting straight edges just line it up down there so I can see what I want. Give it a bit of a shift. There we go. And then I can see sort of, it's got a bit of a bend in it, I have to admit. Let's push that back a bit. There we go. I think that's about right. That's the sort of line I've got. So you can see it actually comes out a bit. So, I think the edge of the pavers will sit on this ledge I've got and then follow all the way down. Oh, okay, so not too bad. I'll get another couple of barrows in, I think, fill in a few of the low points and then just ease the gradient out just a wee bit further, take that edge out. That's going well, it's keeping me warm.
Well, we're rocking and rolling now. I can see just up by the corner there, it's a little bit proud. So I might just work that down a bit. But the gradient's pretty much played out now, which is great. I need to pick this up and remove it just so I can see what's under here. I fancy there's a bit of a divot in there. So I think it's going to be just a couple more barrows just to play it out completely and get to the end. And that'll be pretty much ready then for me to create that groove, put the membrane down and see how things lie. I'll probably just put one barrow on top just to go all the way down and just take out any of the final sort of dips that are in there. So getting pretty close now. Well, I'm pleased with that. We uh, got it pretty level. I'm sure when I come to put the pavers down, I'll need to adjust here because this bit, I don't know, it just seems a bit lumpy, but pretty much that gradient is smooth all the way down. And as I come down, I can just fill in a little bit if I need to. And then when I've got it all down, I think I'll probably just for my neatness, put a little bit of soil in here just to make it all the same. So I think the next thing is just to get a bit of a groove out and I can lay that membrane down and tuck it into the groove, create myself a bit of a barrier, stop any unnecessary weed growth into the growing area. Damn, I broke it. So many of these pavers are very old, very thin, not really very resilient for putting on to bare soil or soil and membrane. Wow, I know the sun's bright, but you probably can see I've made good progress. Let's have a look up. There we go. It's not perfectly straight. I could edge the top over a little bit, which will be fine. I've just got to find myself another, I think two or three pavers, which I think I've got. It's not as neat as it could be at the top. Getting that gradient right is difficult. I'll probably pull that up at some time in the future, add a little bit more in just to even the camber up. But otherwise, it's gone in pretty well. Right, the last stretch. There she blows. That's gonna do me for today. I didn't think I'd get that far actually, but just goes to show, nice day. Plenty of energy today, had a good rest, and there's still a bit to do. It's not perfect, but everything's in place. Most of the structural effort has been done and that really helps. So, well, I do hope you've enjoyed today's physical video. Beautiful late November day. And if you did, why not like and subscribe? And if you want my uploads every Wednesday and every Sunday at 8pm. Dio